Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we are taking a look at a grenade build for the Titan. Hands down, one of the best grenade builds that I have ever used on this class. So, Guardians, let's get into it. Now, for this build, we're going to be using some Elemental Well mods and some Charged with Light mods mixed together. So, let's start breaking this build down. Now, this is a grenade build, so you want to get your discipline as high as you can. Tier 10, preferably. For this video, I'm going to be at a Tier 9. A 37-second grenade cooldown. Next off, we're going to be on Bottom Tree Sunbreaker code of the siege breaker and we're going to be utilizing two perks in particular a lot soul invictus solar ability kills restore your health grenade melee ability and sun warrior kills leave a deadly sunspot in their wake and also sun warrior passing through a sunspot causes your grenade and melee abilities to recharge faster and your super lasts longer it also increases the damage your weapons deal so right here with these two perks you're already getting a faster grenade cooldown so let's take a look at these sunspots throw a grenade and right here, you see that there's a sunspot right here. Let's stand it in and we get the sun warrior buff. That guy just ran through it and he died too. <laughs> and the next thing you guys want to equip is your exotic chest armor piece, the armamentarium. A very simple but very nice exotic to have. All it does is give you another grenade charge. Pretty much a no-brainer for a grenade build. Now let's take a look at some of the mods that I'm using. Now for this build, we want to become charged with light. And the way we're going to do that is elemental charge become charged with light by picking up an elemental well if the elemental wells element type matches your subclass element you gain two stacks of charge with light i just said element a lot and do not forget that the intrinsic perk on these elemental well mods is that picking up any elemental well grants energy to your ability with the lowest current energy picking up an elemental well whose element matches your subclass damage type grants energy to all your abilities so with this mod we become charged with light and we also gain grenade ability energy the next mod is elemental ordinance Defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. So if we go over here, get a grenade kill. You'll see that it dropped an elemental orb right here. That is what it means when it says elemental well. You pick up the orb. You become charged with light. And the last mod I want to talk about is this Charged with Light mod called Firepower. While Charged with Light regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade consuming one stack of charge with light so with this mod you don't even have to get a kill with your grenade you just got to use it and you instantly get a portion of your grenade back but if you look closely it says this mod's effects stack with other copies of this mod so as you can see i'm running three firepower mods we've got the one mod to become charged with light elemental ordinance to make the wells and then three firepower mods so as you can see right here i am already charged with light i'm gonna throw my grenade down and i'm instantly gonna have half of it back and since my discipline is at nine it's only gonna take me a very short while to get my grenade back also on my class piece i'm running this mod called bomber it reduces the grenade cooldown when using your class ability so i'm charged with light i could throw a grenade instantly get half of it back pop my barricade and I get another tiny little bump and then it's only going to take me a few seconds to get my full grenade back. Now for the last part of this build, the nice little cherry on top, we are talking about the brass attacks sidearm. It comes with a perk called wellspring which states that kills with this weapon generate ability energy. This energy is divided between your uncharged abilities and since we're always going to be throwing our grenade, we are always going to be getting grenade energy with this thing when we get some kills. So to get this build going essentially you just need to get one grenade grenade kill and then the build just starts up let's throw a grenade down kill that guy there's the well boom we're charged with light kill that guy get a little bit of energy with wellspring oh let's get another grenade kill there's another well let's go pick that up throw another grenade we got our grenade back throw another one why not oh look at that we got another grenade there's another well. Let's pick it up. We instantly have another grenade. Let's throw it down. Why not? Got another well to spawn right there. We have another grenade already. Why throw it? Let's try, maybe get a sidearm kill. This is a this is a first person shooter, and essentially you can pretty much just keep this going as long as the ads are are here. If you ever run out of your grenade, just get some kills with the sidearm. Pop your barricade. Get a little bit more grenade energy. This is by far the best grenade build that I've ever used on a Titan. And that is pretty much going to do it for the build. If you guys found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys are new around here and need more Destiny 2 in your life, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to hang out with me more, don't forget to follow me over at twitch.tv slash paid to be famous. And I'll catch you guardians in the next video. Peace.